Mr. Johnson, my name is Jennifer, and I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm going to wash my hands. I need to verify your ID band. What's your full name? And your date of birth? Okay, and I see you have an allergy band. What are your allergies? Okay. The physician has ordered a small volume enema today for you. I'm going to go ahead and gather the supplies, and then I'll be back to do the procedure. Do you have any questions? Okay, great. My name is Shelby, and I'm just going to be giving you some information while she gathers her supplies. So, for the small volume enema, she would get a prepackaged disposable enema, and for the large volume enema, she would get a 500 to 1500 milliliter enema bag with a pre lubricated tip, tubing clamps, and a moisture proof drape. So, this enema would be used to, the large volume would be used to perform a bowel prep for a procedure and to relieve constipation. And the most common use for a small volume enema would be to relieve constipation because it is not necessary to cleanse the whole colon for that. Some assessments that we would do before beginning the enema would be to um, osculate for bowel sounds. We would palpate for abdominal distension, and we would ask the patient when their last bowel movement was just to identify the patient's regularity. To prepare the patient, we would have the patient lie on their left side in the Sims position, and we would educate the patient to bear down like they are having a bowel movement just to relax the muscles. And we would encourage the patient to hold the fluid in for as long as possible until they feel the urge to defecate. To describe the procedures, a small volume enema is used to clean the lower portion of the colon or the sigmoid colon. This type of cleansing enema is often used for the patient who is constipated but does not need cleansing of the higher colon. The amount used is less than 500 milliliters for a small volume enema. For the large volume enema, it is to clean as much of the colon as possible of feces. And this is an intervention for constipation and bowel prep for a procedure. The amount used for a large volume enema is 500 to 1500 milliliters, and you need to place the bag no higher than 12 to 18 inches parallel with the hip. To dispose of the irrigation supplies that we are going to use, you would discard of the enema container or the disposable bag and the tubing in the proper receptacle per hospital policy. The responsibilities of the nurse would be to observe the characteristics of the stool that is in the the bag and if the patient has no bowel movement you need to know that you can only administer three consecutive enemas to avoid disruption of the fluid electrolyte balance the optimal outcome of this enema would be to have a bowel movement but potential complications are severe abdominal cramping bleeding or sudden abdominal pain that is not relieved by slowing the flow of the solution that you insert if the patient is having resistance or you feel resistance as you insert the enema, you should stop immediately and notify the provider as soon as possible. Stat. The infection control measures that will be used for this procedure will be gloves and PPE as necessary. To perform appropriate caring behaviors for this procedure, we would offer the patient privacy and we would check on the patient to see if they are having abdominal cramping at any point throughout this procedure and we would assist the patient to the bedside commode or the toilet so that they could defecate. So now we're going to resume our procedure. Hi Mr. Johnson, I've gathered my supplies. I've checked to make sure that this enema is not expired and the package is not tampered with. I also have a pad to place under your bottom in case we have any accidents. Now go ahead and perform hand hygiene and put on my clean gloves. having any cramping right now, Mr. Johnson? No? Just a little discomfort? I'm going to go ahead and raise your bed. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to roll onto your left side, and I will assist you. And I'm going to ask you to reach across 
your chest with your right arm and grab onto the bedside to help move you. Okay, and then take your right leg and place it over your left, slightly bent. I'm gonna go ahead and expose your bottom and get ready for the procedure. How do you feel in this position? Are you okay? Great. Go ahead and place the pad under the bottom in case we have any leakage. Now this particular enema is pre-lubricated, so I don't need any additional lube. Go ahead and remove the cap. Okay, I need you to bear down as if you're going to have a bowel movement, and I'm going to go ahead and insert it. You should feel a little pressure, but no pain. Now, as I insert the tip, I'm going to insert it three to four inches in a back and forth motion. Towards the umbilical. And I'm going to administer the entire volume of the container and then I'm going to remove it and ask the patient to hold it as long as possible. The package says about 10 minutes and we're going to stay in this position and you're going to stay with the patient and make sure they're comfortable until they need to defecate and then you can assist them to the bedside commode, bedpan or toilet and then they're ready to go and we would dispose of the materials according to the hospital protocol.